Hi, my name is Amy Ostick with the Colorado Water Conservation Board, and I'm here to provide an overview and status update of Colorado's demand management feasibility investigation. First, let me introduce myself. I'm with the Interstate, Federal, and Water Information Section at the Colorado Water Conservation Board, where I focus primarily on Colorado River issues. Before the CWCB, I was an attorney at the Colorado Attorney General's Office. But before I even started law school, I was born and raised and spent a lot of my life in an agricultural community in Western Nebraska. And that's where I really became interested in water issues. Now, this is not intended to be a deep dive on demand management, but rather an introduction for interested parties in the public to become comfortable engaging on demand management. Additional information can be found by visiting our website at cwcb.colorado.gov and then clicking on the demand management box. Or you can leave us a comment or provide feedback at engagecwcb.org or email us a question at demandmanagement at state.co.us. So let's start at the beginning. What is demand management? You may have heard this term in different contexts. It's been used to refer generally to water conservation efforts. But today we're talking about demand management specifically as it relates to the ongoing investigation directed by the 2019 Colorado River Drought Contingency Plan. The Drought Contingency Plan is a collection of agreements made by the seven Colorado River Basin states, including Colorado, to provide more water security in the Colorado River Basin. This will become more and more important as the Western United States continues to face drier conditions into the future. One of the options specified within the seven state agreement is to look into a potential demand management program, but only one that would work for all of the upper basin states, which includes Colorado. Note that you can find all of the drought contingency plan agreements and documents at the Bureau of Reclamation's website. The link is here on the slide. So how would a demand management program operate? through temporary, voluntary, and compensated reductions in water use. In other words, water users in the upper basin states would be given the opportunity to voluntarily use less water on a temporary basis <clears throat> and would be compensated for doing so. This water would be stored in Lake Powell and could then be used by the upper basin states, including Colorado in the future, to ensure ongoing compliance with the 1922 Colorado River Compact. This additional storage could enable releases of that water on our own terms and for our own protection and would be one more tool in Colorado's and the Upper Basin State's toolkit. So why would we consider setting up this type of program? Because it could protect Colorado and its water users as well as the future generations of Coloradans from the impacts of a potential compact administration, which could lead to uncompensated and required reductions in use as well as possible litigation and significant uncertainty for Colorado and across the entire Colorado River Basin. So what have we done so far to consider whether a demand management program should be established? Well, all of the upper basin states have been conducting their own feasibility investigations into a potential program to determine whether and how it could work in their individual states. In Colorado, the investigation is being led by the Colorado Water Conservation Board. From 2019 to 2020, we convened experts and stakeholders from various sectors across the state into work groups that were focused on the big issues and concerns associated with a potential demand management program. These work groups were tasked with identifying the key threshold issues that need to be considered before deciding to move forward with any potential demand management program. We also held some public workshops to inform other interested Coloradans about what we were up to. This was an open collaborative process, which stakeholders told us was really important from the start. All of this work is summarized in a report from July, 2020, available on our demand management webpage as well. So what are we doing now? Well, the next step is focused on developing a draft framework, which is really a straw man concept of what a demand management program might look like in practice. We're developing the draft framework because of stakeholder input. Colorado water users told us that they need something tangible to respond to, to help with this discussion. The draft framework is available on CWCB's website for review, as well as on engagecwcb.org. Some important notes about the structure of the framework. First, this is not a demand management program. Demand management is not a foregone conclusion. Rather, this framework is just a tool for discussion about what a potential program could look like. And we hope that you'll dig into the framework and tell us what you think. To that end, the framework shows a wide range of potential implementation options. 
The various program design features you will see in the framework were informed by and meant to build on the work group's discussions. You can look at material from one subject area if you want to focus in on specific implementation op options, but you can also look at mixing and matching various implementation options. The program design is really, I'm sorry, the framework design is really intended to focus on the details of what a program could look like on the ground, but also identify the big picture issues and trade-offs. One of those really important pieces is equity, also referred to as proportionality or thought of as fairness in a program. We hope this framework can help identify potential issues associated with proportionality with more specificity than it's been possible before. When it comes to the question of proportionality and fairness or any other questions associated with a potential program, the overarching questions we'll have for people across the state will, will be, first, what are we missing? What are things you would like to see that are not represented in the range of options uh, that, that you see in the framework now? Second, what do you think might work well? What do you identify in the framework as potential program designs that you think would work particularly well for our state? Next, what do you see that might not work as well? Or what would cause issues, whether generally or in one particular area or sector? Now, it's really important to understand that this is going to be an iterative process, and this is only the first draft. It will evolve over time as we receive feedback and discuss with the board. And again, demand management is not a foregone conclusion. Input from all sectors and demographics is important in developing a framework that fully captures the benefits, the potential impacts, and the trade-offs in various program design options. So, what do we want from you? First, review the framework. The first draft, the first version, is available at our website. Next, join at least one of our upcoming workshops to discuss the framework and provide feedback. Upcoming workshops will be posted on CWCB's public calendar on our website. You can also join the conversation at Engage CWCB, and the link is here on the slide. Also, reach out to us directly to discuss the framework or ask any questions you might have at demandmanagement at state.co.us. So, what are the next steps? Well, following our workshops, we'll use this input to further consider whether a, a program could be achievable, advisable, and worthwhile from Colorado's perspective. All of the information that we gather during this process will help our board better understand those issues so that they're better able to make a decision. Our board has made very clear that it's imperative to go about this in a thoughtful and transparent manner, and we remain committed to that. Colorado Water Conservation Board looks forward to your involvement and input as we continue this important discussion across our state. Thank you.